Hello and welcome to another episode of LSPDFR and GTA 5. My name is Carrot Top Gamer and we are currently in a detective's vehicle and marked police car. And this is a new character I've created called Antonio Ramirez and he's going to be our officer today. Um, I ha he's part of the Blaine County Sheriff's Department and what will happen is I've created a couple more characters so we can kind of swing in and out of different things and in the next episode I'm hoping to do different call outs on different officers and in that way try and give it a bit more of an immersive feel um, we're currently in a new vehicle as well which is the Dodge Charger on the on mark side what I'll quickly do is go through the different lightings that he has so you've got your standard traffic advisors stage 2 with more, a bit more traffic advisors and now the lights on the front and then stage 3 is essentially the full code 3 alert ok so what we're going to do, I apologise for the um, delay in the video, it's literally with the computer going down and getting it back up and running, the game's become very unstable, so I've taken me five hours now just to try and keep recording, to try and get this thing to give me some content that I can actually put on the channel. I'm, I've messed around with a few things, so I'm hoping to keep it stable enough that I can at least get a video off today, and then what I'm going to have to do overnight is reinstall the whole thing, because something's gone wrong somewhere along the line. Um, but yeah, what we'll do is go to the intro and then when you come back, we'll get started. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. All units, officers report a bank heist on um, Great Ocean Highway. Respond code 3. This is 1 Adam 22 responding. 10-4, 1 Adam 22. Okay, so we have a report of a bank heist in progress, and um, so it seems like they're barricaded up in the actual place, so what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the scene and see if we can if we can resolve this peacefully and without any losses of life. Okay, so we're arriving on the scene, and looks like the Sh Blaine County Sheriff is already here, and this best show me on scene. Attention all units, officers have arrived. Okay, so yeah. Copy that. One, Adam, 22. Approach with caution. Okay, so the officers are already here. They've set up a perimeter. There's the commanding officer over there. It looks like we've got TV crew as well. So I'm going to quickly just get on the uh, system. Have a little read of what the situation is on the details. Okay, so officers were called to the Felisa Bank on Route 1 after reports of a group of armed individuals entering the bank. When officers arrived, they were threatened and shots were fired. Although no one was hit, officers followed protocol to fall back and establish a perimeter around the area. A command post has been set up at the perimeter, rendezvous with the officer in charge and tried to negotiate a peaceful resolution to the situation. Okay, so that's all the information we've got on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the officer in charge, which I'm guessing is that guy over there. And we'll see what the situation is and what information he's got. Hello officer, my name's Antonio Ramirez from the from Blaine's Detective Department. What do we have here? Okay, so it looks like they were robbing a bank branch here. Now they're held up and have hostages. Do we know how many suspects roughly? Okay, so we don't have any information on the suspects. What about the hostages? Do we know how many hostages? So they've identified one hostage and that's about it. Any ideas on the weapons at all? Has there been any other communications with the suspects? Okay, so first responders were there and then they had to move back to do a perimeter. Do we have CCTV? Okay, so we've got access to the cameras. We've got nine here. Um, how can we get access to the um, contact with them? Okay, so we can call the phone line on the building or use a cell phone with IMS catches to tell us. Right, they know we're here. We're here. We know they're there. 
Shall we get this alarm switched off and try and um, reduce the noise? I'm going to have a quick look at the CCTV footage and see if we can work out how many is there while you do that. Okay, so two hostages and two suspects. Both. One with a handgun. One looks like it could be a shotgun or a automatic rifle. We got another guy in a suit just around the corner. There's also a sleeping bag randomly. But okay, so we got a guy around the corner with a gun in a suit. And then we've got another two there. No, three. There's one hiding just to the left of the vault door. So we're saying one, two, three. So we're saying about six suspects and the perimeter's all clear. And it looks like there's four hostages. I can't see anybody in the by the clerk's office, so I'm gonna say it's just four and six. Okay, let's try bringing these internal phone lines and see if we can get negotiations and dialogue open. Okay, so we're not getting any answer on the main phone. I'll tell you what then, if we're not doing that, let's try somebody's cell phone there. Also, just before I do that, is there any less tactical weapons available? Okay, so you don't trust anyone else, including trained officers, to throw them, so you're giving them to me. To be honest, that's fine. I'd rather have something, so at least I can try and incapacitate them if I need to. Let's try a cell phone. Okay, someone's answered. Hello, my name's Officer Antonio Ramirez. Who am I speaking with, please? Your worst nightmare out of the hostages, and I'm willing to do whatever it need, I need to. Okay, so we've got a suspect on the phone. Okay, I want everyone safe. How many of you are there? Okay, so there's six of them. And how many members of the public are in there? Because I'm asking you. But okay, so he's not going to tell us that. I want to get everybody out there alive today. How can we achieve that? He wants bulletproof vests. Right, just put them on hold for a minute. Right, we're not going to give him any bulletproof vests because last thing we need is to put them in a situation where they are resilient and because then they'll be armed and have bulletproof vests on. So, I'm going to try and see if I can get someone else out of them. I've just had a chat with the commanding officer and it's not something we're going to be able to do. Is there anything else we can do for you? How can we get a hostage release? Okay, I can do that, but I'm going to need you to release all of the hostages. You better not cross me now. Look, I won't cross you, but just make sure you keep your word. Right, okay. So he's releasing the hostages. One, two... Okay, so we've had two hostages released. I'm going to quickly speak to this one over here and see if we can get any information out of him. Uh, can you tell me what happened? Yes, you are safe. Um, can I just get your ID, please? Are you available to do a statement at this moment in time? No, okay, so it looks like he's too scared to be able to do anything at the moment. I'm going to quickly go and check the other hostage, hostage out. Hello, are you okay? Can you tell me what happened at all? Can I take your ID at all? He's got his ID out.
Is search engine should be able to give me a statement at all? Right, officer, I'm going to need you to keep an eye on that person and then when they feel in a better position to be able to talk, you let me know and I'll take a statement from them. Oh, he's, another one's been released. This is good, we're getting most hostages. There's just one now that it hasn't. Quickly go and seize that hostage as well. They've run a bit further away. Hello, my name's Antonio Ramirez. Can you tell what happened at all? It's all too much, okay. Can I at least get your ID at this moment? Thank you. And can I get you to do a statement? What I'm going to do is get an officer to come back to you and check on you, okay? Thank you. Okay, so that's three out of four hostages that we're aware of. Okay. Ma'am, can you just keep an eye on both those hostages down there, make sure they're okay, and then let me know when they're ready to talk. Have a quick look at the CCTV, so they're gone, they're gone. Oh, that person's now left as well. They're running over there, let me quickly go and check up on them. Right, now they've put themselves in a bit of a situation here. Because they've given away all of their leverage. I wasn't expecting them to give up all of them, so I'm quite surprised at that. Hello, my name is Antonio Ramirez. Can you tell me what happened here at all? Yes, I'd like to take a statement. Is there a chance you can do a statement for me? And can I also get some ID from you? Okay. I'll get an officer to come over here to take the statement from you. Thank you. Officer, you also go and keep an eye on that one over there as well for me. Thank you. Right, okay. Okay, so I believe they've given up all of the hostages that I'm aware of. So this could end up being in our favour here. He is pointing a gun at that guy, but he's got a gun. So is he security? I don't know. There's six. Okay. Okay, so since I've done that. Okay, I think it's time for you to give yourselves up now. No, that's not going to happen. How many? Well, we've got all the public now. There's six of you. We've got all the all the hostages out. You're going to end up dead unless you cooperate with me today. Well, let's arrange for a vehicle. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up. Okay, we've got the hostages out now. We're going to try now. I think it's time for us to make an entrance. So, let's make a tactical entrance. Fuck you, cabroncito! I tell you what, mate, do you want to keep walking in front of my fucking gun, you idiot? Okay. I don't know how good my throwing arm is, but we're going to try it. Let's see if we can get another one in as well. One down. Yeah, 
Okay, we've got two of them down. Wait for the smoke to dissipate and then we'll enter. Okay, we've got one who's given up there. So that's two people down. Taking any chances, so I don't want to take any chances just in case. So we know there's six of them. Okay, so we've got another one down. Is everybody okay? Everybody okay? Right, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. So there's two more available. Get. Oh, what's he doing? Right, cover me, because he's, for some reason, going in to try and do CPR, which is not what we want to be doing right now. We need to sort out the rest of them. Watch where your hand goes. Right, two of them are down. Three of them possibly dead. Um, one's definitely incapacitated. Once we clear up the scene, we'll get EMS on site. Okay. Whoa, okay. Let's move back, let the gas dissipate, see if we can take out the rest of them. Are you okay, officer? Are you okay? Nobody. Okay, so we've got six incapacitated now. So that should be them all down. Okay, I think we've got all the suspects down now. Is anybody hurt? Anybody hurt? Okay. Dispatch, can we get an ambulance on scene? Okay, I think we've got them all here. Head to 13. Currently heading to the location. Dispatch request an ambulance. Ambulance. Assistance required in uh Banham Canyon. Okay, so it's not the cleanest thing, but all the suspects are down and incapacitated right. and we've got all of the hostages out and alive. I would have liked to have tried to get a few more of these okay but I was not going to let them have a car and get away where it could Whoa. then start getting more dangerous hello Hot, don't I know it. cheers thank you we've also got some suspects which are down we can you please you. have a look at them all they're now going around to check all this all of the um Suspects. I don't know where the commanding officer's gone. Oh, there he is. Mother of God. Can we move the barriers now? Because oh, we need to get shit. them in. Here, get some fresh air. Whoa, that was that was a bit tense there. We managed to get all the hostages out there. That's the main thing, and we also managed to get all of the suspects down. 
I would have liked to have not had loss of life, but I'm going to say one, two, three, four. About four of them are probably down, but I think we may have got some of the others. While the ambulance is going around checking on all of them. What's going on here? It's my job to do report of Sanchez. Okay, well, this is what I can tell you so far. There's been an, there was an incident where gunmen had hostages inside of the building, the Felicia Bank on Highway 1. We've, we came to try and see if we could defuse the situation. We have managed to um, rescue all four of the hostages and we have two suspects en route to hospital. There was a bit of a altercation, so not all of the gunmen have made it, but we've got two on the way to the hospital, which will then be questioned when they come about. And that's all I can tell you right now, so... So yeah, so... Um, that's all we can report back to you. Dispatch requesting coroner. How's he gonna do two of them? Assistance required in... Badham Canyon. A little bit worried they're just putting him in the back of a black van, but hey, you know. Shocking. So we had one, two, four out of six down. Okay, so we're saying these are the victims or the suspect's cars. Let me quickly search the vehicles as well while we're here. Probably should have done this earlier, but we're going to do that now. Bag of fertilizer, human skull. Okay, can we get a tow truck? I'd like a large flatbed, please. Tow truck, assistance large required tow truck, on um, Great Ocean Highway. Okay. Let's search this vehicle as well, see what we've got in here. Okay, so nothing major here, but... Can I get a tow truck for here as well, please? Thank you. Tow truck. Assistance required in... Badham Canyon. Okay, so everyone's now left the building, so I'm just going to go to the CO now and let him know that the building's secured for the next stage of the investigation. All the suspects are en route to hospital. I have now got an officer with them so that they can be questioned when they come around and taken into custody. All of the hostages have given their statements and we have now released them and had to let them get checked to make sure that they're all okay. And as you can see, the scene's now been secured and we can now start opening the road to normal operations. Suspect wise, we've got two in custody and unfortunately five didn't make it which isn't a desired outcome, but at least we managed to rescue all of the hostages and they're now being checked over by medical staff to make sure they're okay. And we've had statements taken from them and we've managed to secure the scene. Um, there's been a little bit of editing, which is a little bit different on this particular episode, just because, like I said, I was having a few issues with the game and its stability. So because of that, I've had to kind of cut out the bits where it wasn't working quite right and then just kind of edit it out a little bit. But... I think that's a good place to end the episode on this particular one. Um, it has been something a little bit different. It's been one call out which has lasted the full 25-30 minutes. Which I think has made it a bit more exciting and a bit more interesting. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and get the bell on. And it will let you know of any future content that I have coming up. And um, yeah, I've been Carrot Top Gamer. This has been LSPDFR. And I hope to see you in the next one. And I guess there's only one more thing to do. And that is to say, dispatch, show me 10-8.